How can any person with any kind of logic hear RFK Jr. say that 75% of the FDA's funding comes from Big Pharma and not be absolutely alarmed? Why should we as Americans be alarmed? Well, let's break this down. We must first understand that the Food and Drug Administration is responsible for protecting public health by ensuring the safety, the efficacy, and security of our food and drug supply. We must also understand that Big Pharma is responsible for keeping Americans supplied with a medicine cabinet's worth of pills. When you do the research, you will find that pharmaceutical companies generate literally billions each year in revenue with astronomical profit margins. It's simple supply and demand. The sicker we are, the more Big Pharma makes. I'm no rocket scientist, but does this not seem like a conflict of interest? How is it okay for the companies that supply medicine to the sick be the majority funder of the organization that's in charge of ensuring our food supply is safe? I mean, doesn't that put a lot of power in the hands of the ones who give? I mean, wouldn't this lead the FDA to compromise? I don't have to answer this question. Why? Well, the evidence is right in front of us. Why is food in America processed the way it is? Why are the foods that we see on the shelves in our grocery stores even allowed? Look at the ingredient list on the back of most food labels and tell me if you even know what any of these ingredients are. Is most of this food even safe? Absolutely not. Look, this isn't conspiracy theory. This is just facts. We must follow the money because when we do, we find out some things that are downright disturbing. When you follow the money, you will find that Big Pharma funds the FDA and the big media. The FDA controls what you eat while big media controls what you hear and see. What you eat and what you hear and see dictates whether you're sick or healthy. The FDA and big media compromise and lean in one direction. Make the population as sick as possible. Why? Well, sickness lines Big Pharma's pockets. It's all a business. Americans are just cogs in the economic engine. These people want patients for life. Why? Well, the sicker you are, the more they make. This is why you don't hear much about how to really get healthy. It's always, take a pill. How about we go for a walk? How about we get outside? Maybe we become a little more active, we eat whole foods. Maybe we exercise a little. You see how this works? As sick as it sounds, I'm encouraging you to do your own research. Two passages from scripture ring loud in my ear. Number one, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Number two, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Taking context off the table, these passages are absolute wisdom for anyone to live by. The truth will set you free. So stop burying your heads in the sand and realize what is going on because it's up to each one of us to live smart because the people in control don't care about you or your kids. They only care about their money.